Hello, Serge here for the Backyard Driving Range. All right, we have today one, one of our uh, comments, I guess, uh, as you know, I call in your own words. It's direct from a Sergeite about a, about a discovery they made, epiphany or whatever you want to call it. And this one comes to us from Jay Perriman, and he writes, I wrote in a couple, I wrote a in a couple of weeks ago complaining about my putting. It finally hit me like a bolt of lightning. I don't know if I can exactly explain it, but I pick my spot. After reading the green, I bring the putter back and let it do the work instead of guiding the putter. I went from 36 to 38 putts around to 29 to 30 putts around. Thank you, Don, for all your tips and that, plus long practice, and it finally came. Amazing. Nothing beats practicing the right way, and maybe that is just the start of something big. I'm eternally grateful. Jim Perriman. Okay, Jim, great comment. Now, again, as I've always said, everything that I say here, everything that's in the manuals, in the videos, is as is, is, is simple and correct way that I can, that my mind tells me that I can transfer what is in my mind how to do things for you to get. But in the end, you have to take some of these things and experiment with them because one, one, one way I say it, or somebody else says it might not just click with you and sometimes you got to toy with some little differences in it and see if it works like many times I'll have students come up to me and say well uh, like one time I had a an LPGA player that I was teaching that that as you know the bump is supposed to ring the bell and bump and it's the left knee and the left hip bumps a little bit and it goes forward and she said to me I just can't seem to get that Don I can't seem to get that pulling of the of the forward side pulling the back she said but I think I do it pretty good with the with the with with the right side with the right side pushing off all right and I said okay let me see what it looks like and and uh, she started doing it and I just said that looks great so I said go ahead and do it you, you, you're doing it so she re she actually reversed it in that case and and was making really good swings and doing and doing the bump really well and instead of the left side pulling she was more the right side pushing off but you know what in my butt and when I swing I have the left side pulling and when I get here the right side's pushing okay after the left side starts pulling and so I can sense that but she couldn't differentiate between them, or, or she didn't want to differentiate. But when I saw it was correct, I said, fine, just go do that. But I just said, if anybody really asks you what you're doing, I mean, if you want to tell them what you actually came up with, fine. But clarify to them what, what also was the main tenet of what I say. All right, so that's, this is the point about keeping your mind open and finding and helping you to take the words that I've created and, and, and give yourself a, and find a way that, that your brain and your body can inter interact with each other and do it correctly and get you making good swings and hitting good shots, right? In the end, good contact and good and good shots to you out towards you where you want the ball to go and, and it ends up where it's supposed to go in a flight way to, the way you want it counts. And as, as Jim was saying, he did it in putting. Now, again, you also hear, you, you, all, you always hear of, of putters being talked about putting as a stroke all right now I guess for some people stroke could imply that you're just going to be very tight and tense and and and, and just kind of move the putter whereas with a not with a normal swing we hit the ball and swing through it well with a putter we still need to hit it and the the, the impression the impression I got from what what again this is my translation of what I just read Jim say is he, he let the he let he let the putter he took the putter back and let it do the work instead of guiding the putter so I think he was more it, it, to use the word stroke, he was trying to, you know, make the putter, you know, tighten everything down and, and get the putter just to move it, just force was was happening rather than take the putter back and hit it. All right? And, and, and I mean, hey, heck, my brother Kenny, he was a big believer in that, that as a right-hander with the right hand, lefty would be a left hand, that you really hit it a lot with the lower hand, which, which implies that he's, he's, make, he's letting the club hit the ball and have somewhat of a release. Because you know, it's, as I believe, because the arms rotate in a regular full swing, there should be a little rotation to slightly open to square to open. And they call that a little bit of arcing, okay? And, uh, and so there's, like, there's a big controversy. Straight back and through, which would be holding a putter straight and through, which I think actually creates an arc inside to out rather than excuse me, out to in to out, you know, out to on to out, I should say properly. And then if you're pro if, uh, standing on this side of the ball, uh, on the side of the ball, it should arc, it should arc a little inside back to on the line and then, and then it's slightly inside again. And so we know that's always going to happen because the hands square up right here as we talk about in the full golf swing. This is just a little golf swing. So again, I think this is a great point 
And, that's, and, and, I, and I read these things from in your own words from Sergites because I want you to see how somebody else, how another Sergite took the words we talk about, the statements we make, the, the, the visions I have in terms of what the swing is and, 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 and trying to get into your mind because I think it, 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 you know, when, you get, when you get pictures into your mind, it really works a lot better because uh, like, I see everything in my mind before I do it. All right, and that creates the mind creates the senses, and as I say, once I decide to, to swing and everything I want, and, and, and what what setup I have to do, I melt into the setup, and that creates the swing. And so we got to get we got to get the words into our mind, and so our mind can can get the body set up correctly and trigger the muscles to move in the right way. And and Jim found out something here. He he takes the putter back and he lets the putter do the work. Okay, and and I think that's a good statement because it sounds like to me now he went from sort of like sort of. Like, pushing, steering the ball to finally getting a somewhat of a hit in the putter. We're hitting the ball. We've got to make it move. We have to make it move. We've got some good putting videos on the website. The putting secret that I did with Jack Moore for about E. Harvey Watts putting secret is really good. And, and uh, DJ and I did a putting video and there's good points in there. And even though, even though there's mo more than one video on the subject, the key is, is that every, bitty, every video always conforms to the laws of physics I, and, and your physiology. I'll never let anything get on this site that doesn't conform. But there's different ways to say things and each one has some other different points that these instructors brought up that's a little bit different. So you never know. You get a little piece here and a little piece there. You add them up and you got an improvement. All right? And, and so one thing might not resonate you with you, but the, the other, on the other video, somebody talking about probably the same topic says it in a different way, the light comes on. Okay? So that's why we're offering different subjects here. Uh, same subjects but by different different professionals and there'll be a lot more of those coming in the future especially short game because short game is you got to be a short game wizard nobody hits all 18 greens so again thank you Jim experiment with uh, your setup your swing see if any slight adjustments subtleties make it but you know the overall point of what you want to do just find the ways that your brain and your vision in your brain your mental visualization of things can create a setup and the swing trying to do the 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 technical things that have to happen in terms of the setup and the swing and the peak performance golf swing, setup and swing, take good shots. And you start finding, shall we say, translating everything into your brain where it understands it and can make it happen, you're going to find out you'll be, you'll be making better swings, hitting better shots, shooting lower scores. Well, that's it for the search for today. And I'll be talking with you all again soon.